I can't see. Ah! Jump scare! Challenge. Jump scare! Lennon! <laughs> this is the U.S. intelligence agency mind control. Using the inscrutable ah, texts of an 18th Hegel. century philosopher and the pseudoscientific music. Why is this video so much louder than the last one? I have no idea. <laughs> I have to turn my oh, headphones on. The of a long forgotten French psychoanalyst revitalize the single worst idea of the 20th century. <laughs> Empower yourself. <laughs> Not fascism. Not fascism. Fascism isn't the single worst idea of the 20th century. It's communism. They're going to be like, well, I, it's pretty bro, up there. I swear to God, if there's fascism apology in here, and then they try mm. to talk about how communism killed more people. It's not a comparison, yeah. right? If Hitler lived as long as Stalin, he would have destroyed Stalin's mm. high score, right? Mm -hmm. Ridiculous, these people. <laughs> fascism but is the, so the real hero of World War II was Adolf Hitler. He finished it. Yeah. <laughs> Empower yourself to global superstardom. Sound impossible? Oh, well, then you don't know Jesus. I hate this, this guy. This man, this man. Actually, I want to change. Now I'm gonna, this is going to fuck up the whole video. I, I got to change it. So, because I hate the, uh, I hate being on that side. I, wanna, I already am up. eating. Correct. From the trash can all the time. Correct. This, this, I, sh I shouldn't even say guy, but clearly this guy closeted envy, right? This, this is, this is one of them, any pronouns people, you know, and I know because uh, I got a detector for it. <laughs> Jack. What am I doing here in the middle of the ocean surrounded by frozen corpses? Slavoj. Man, they're going to give us great Zizek sound bites from this video. You realize <laughs> that, right? Zizek is a Slovenian philosopher and unabashed communist, blessed with a rare gift for translating his radical politics into tasty pop culture analogies. Hunger Games, Elysium, that's the society we are approaching. 20% of people live in the privileged zone, the majority is out. That's the future. What kind of idiot? I don't like him at all. I wish, like, if he said more shit like that that was being, like, compared to movies and stuff, mm. I would probably like him a lot more. Instead, it's, like, 30 minutes on, like, some minute point about, like, <laughs> Rob Pierre doing something. Like, mm -hmm. what are you talking about? Pop culture. He is not pop culture. Zizek has produced an avalanche of books and... Hegel, no, more people know who Hegel is than Zizek, hands down. Mm. I guarantee it. Starred in several movies, and his core claim is that capitalism is sustained through mass ideological indoctrination. Uh huh. There is nothing natural. What hierarchy isn't? Yeah, that's true. About human desires, we and have that, to. And that's the thing is that's where Zizek is is coming to the incomplete conclusion. Even though communism is supposed to end without hierarchies, mm. be taught to desire. You see dictatorship in. Democracy. It's the invisible order which... Okay, I disagree with a lot of that, but only to a certain degree. Only because, <laughs> you want to see a crazy uh, crazy graphic? This is one of my favorite maps. The, the source is Reddit here. And this is not an up-to-date map as well, because uh, they don't have Afghanistan highlighted. And the map mm -hmm. I saw definitely had Afghanistan highlighted. So This is countries who claim to be democratic. <laughs> North Korea even claims they're democratic. Mm. It's in the name. Like they all claim it, except for Afghanistan and Saudi Arabia now. <laughs> oh, you know, there's oh, there's a there's a little red right up here by Italy as well. Interesting. Who would that uh, be? I'm not sure. Uh, the, there's oh, there's one down here as well. This is uh, Brunei. So up here is one of those monarchies. Oh, China. you know what it'd be? It'd be Liechtenstein. It's uh, the Vatican. Ah, uh, that's okay. what it is. And uh, also another map that correlates very closely to this map mm. this is a funny one too this is an actual map with data even though the source is not much better it's wikipedia okay what do you think this is a map of Iran, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia <laughs> um I don't know countries that recognize Israel interesting so Cuba and Iran not about it huh mm -hmm. some of the some of these countries. Anyway, so it's only to that degree. And 
there is ways to move forward to make things more democratic or to make things more streamlined mm -hmm. and it shifts you know there's a great experiment that did this and it's the pokemon twitch plays pokemon thing mm. are you familiar with that no. so it's just like you would type in the chat what direction or input to do for twitch plays pokemon okay and it was so chaotic that the, the guy doing it implemented a system that was um uh it's a sliding bar and it's anarchy and democracy hmm. And it shifted back and forth between them multiple times. And what okay. democracy would do is, is that it would read a series of inputs after a certain amount of time, and mm. it would take a direction whoever voted the most. But obviously there's like trolls and they're downvoting and stuff like that, mm. right? The thing is, is that because it takes time to read all those votes, it, it was slower to play. So people would actually go back and switch to anarchy so they could get to places faster by like, <laughs> they would only go to democracy when it came really inefficient and like lore developed because like random nicknames got hit for the pokemon and all this stuff oh, that's it funny. is a it is a great little experiment that's just self-contained by itself mm -hmm. to democracy and anarchy that's very interesting Thanks. your apparent freedom no, 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 no. Corporate hegemons didn't teach you to I love this guy so much. fights in cheap air travel you know, again, you don't know if he's actually a guy that's just how he's probably identified. And like, at least at half of what comes out of his mouth is absurd pseudo-intellectual yes. nonsense. I agree. When we flash, can we just talk about this pose this guy makes? Like, are you a hip hop dancer? Mm -hmm. What is half this? what comes out of his mouth is absurd pseudo-intellectual nonsense. When that's whack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, what was? When we flush the toilet. Excrements simply disappear out of our reality, which uh -huh. we phenomenologically perceive as a kind of a nether world. You're supposed to pretend that this is profound. We have a name for that mean fantasy anything? realized. It's called nightmare. <laughs> but Zizek's appeal isn't coherence. It's that punk rock philosopher swag. I love Stop Canada. It. I think you should invade the United States, make it a colony, and you should do the Hunger Games and Americans should send uh, people ready to die to you. Zizek has secured a global fame accorded to just a microscopic slice of academics. The memeable mascot the of the hipster world. revolutionary. Me oh, bro. But there is memeable. It's you're helping us. We try. We Something really do. sinister lurking underneath those intellectual pyrotechnics. Unbridled capitalism breaks catastrophe. A radical change is needed. True. And salvation depends on the emergence of a steely supreme overseer. Ah, November 1917. Mm. The Bolsheviks overthrow the newly formed democratic Russian government. Their leader, Vladimir Lenin, unilaterally declares himself president. I do like um I do like a lot of the editing here, just like for no reason, like doing a like a uh, uh, three repeat frames and like they're making mm. him they were like warping him like he was a caterpillar that was growing <laughs> multiple times. Like yeah. I, I, it was different, you know. So I'm like, ooh, that's kind of cool, you know, because I I could totally do this type of shit because this is like um this requires like no a animation yeah. and like even though my build is weak, like it's just like it's mm. just layer stuff that's like built yes, in yeah, to like a simple be too editor. Mm. And promises a communist utopia of peace, land, and bread. Mm -hmm. He delivers violence, death, mm -hmm. and misery, erecting a ubiquitous surveillance apparatus. What government hasn't? Yeah, exactly. Imprisoning and murdering thousands. Establishing a vast terror network well before Stalin came to power. Zizek loves Lenin. I still accept the greatness of Lenin. Maybe we will have to do large, sometimes even violent things. The dream of too many people today. This is important because with uh, Florida trying to teach the benefit of slavery, hmm. Really, are whitewashing this guy's words. But Frederick Douglass, in his biography, he talks about how slavery only exists because of violence, and that violence is going to be necessary to bring about its end. Uh, Frederick Douglass was extremely against violence, right? He was. So now they're trying to do this Martin Luther King thing, where they think that he's like wouldn't support riots and stuff like that. Okay. 
but what he's not what he's saying is that the end goal of violence is hierarchy mm. actually in the in this book and uh why he talks about it the john brown way frederick douglas and on the the, 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 the use of violence <laughs> That nine violence can no longer, you know, so like they're straight up, they're straight up advocating for violence. Yeah. But he isn't, he's a intellectual. And this guy taught himself how to read and write. Guess how? Um, I don't know. Letters? By tricking white people. You're right. Letters is a good guess. Tricking white people into teaching him letters. Oh, right? that's funny. So he learned an idea as to how I might learn to read and write was suggested to me. This is Irish people telling him. Hey, here's how you can do it, right? Because earlier he meets Irish people and they ask mm. him if he's a, if he's a they ask him if he's a, a servitude for life. They don't say slave, mm. and they were they were empathizing with them. Like they're clearly like because um, they're clearly that type of uh, servant workers or used to be at any term. So he says uh, he learns it from timber. Mm. So if it was a labored side, it would be marked L. It would be marked A, right? So he learned these four letters. Then he goes to go to some white kid and he says, I know how to read and write. And the white kid says, mm. no, you don't. And he goes, watch, I'll show you the letters that I can write and you try and beat them. Mm. And then he writes out the four letters or, that he knows and like yeah. the words that he knows to make with those four letters. And the white kid's like, that's nothing. He, like she teaches that's him the whole so alphabet, funny. right? So like he kept doing this over and over until he learned how to read and write by tricking the white people. No shit. Isn't that fucking awesome? Uh, yeah one it's one of my he's so cool i love frederick Douglass. he's probably he's definitely he's definitely a very uh anarchist type thinker as well mm. we somehow get the change but the change which will not hurt it will hurt yeah see that's frederick Douglass. fast forward to the mid-2000s socialist venezuelan president hugo chavez responds to mounting public opposition with a brutal crackdown uh-huh erecting a paramilitary goon squad and systematically dismantling rival political parties. Mm -hmm. Zizek said these steps should be fully endorsed. When I say the only chance is that the left appropriates fascism, it's not a cheap joke. This is the grand <laughs> architect of our collectivist utopia. You can't be shackled by your precious democratic constraints. We often need a master figure to push us out of an inertia. And I'm not afraid the to say this is that Leninism. forces it's us garbage. to be free. Zizek preaches this poison to his groupies. <laughs> Desire something, but oh do my not God, really I mean, I want This is the first time that I uh, saw him. Don't be afraid to really want what you desire. Here is the message. Trust your righteous anger. Fully commit to your utopia. Embrace the strong man and burn down whatever or whoever stands in your way. What's the pleasure of Nazism if you don't secretly know that you squash the others? You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole point, no? 